Focus on your breath. And try to keep your mind as still as possible with the breath. And John Lee's image is of a post at the edge of a sea. The water rises, the water falls, but the post doesn't rise or fall along with the water. Find one spot in your body where it's easy to watch the breath coming in and going out, and just stay at that spot and allow it to be comfortable. There's a sense of freedom as the breath washes over this way, that way. You want to develop this sense of having something solid and still inside, because it reminds you that even in all the changes of the world, there is something that is solid. The Dharma is solid. And you want to make your mind as solid as the Dharma. So try to find the most still point you can in your mind and protect that. That becomes your home. Otherwise, you go around living in who knows what. You're like those people who just put up a little shack and live in the shack for a while, and then the shack gets blown away, and then they find a box and they live in the box. Go running around like this, never taking the time to create a really solid house. Like the house made of straw and the house made of sticks. It gets blown away. You're trying to make a house made out of brick here inside. So that requires that you learn how to let everything else go for the time being. The sound of the plane, the sound of the, cr the crows. Just let that be in the background. Your foreground awareness is right here with a sense of the, the body, right here in the present moment. You're inhabiting the body. And there's a sense of ease and well-being. The more you can maintain that, the more it allows you to get in touch with something that lies deeper still. So in spite of all the changes all around you, even all the changes inside your body, the changes in your mind, you realize there is something solid, there is something of lasting value here. And that's your protection, that's your refuge. The Buddha gives lots of different names to this. Shelter, harbor, refuge, an island that that rises above the flood to indicate that this is a place that's very safe. Because with the changes of the world, if you change along with things, you can't trust yourself. And that's the scariest thing around. I mean, the fact that things outside change, we're used to that, but you see changes in yourself, particularly changes where you used to be principled about some things, then you're not so principled anymore. Something you would never dream of doing, suddenly you start doing it. Or conditions outside get really difficult and you find yourself contemplating things you would never have even thought of doing. That's scary. So to avoid that danger, you've got to develop something really solid inside that it's impervious to the changes of the world and maintains its integrity. That way you can live in the world in peace with a sense of safety and refuge. <laughs>